Conjunction means joining together. So a conjunction is a joining word that is used for joining together words, phrases or clauses. Let us read this sentence. You can order either a pizza or a burger. So what do we understand? That there are two options in this sentence. What are the two options? A pizza, a burger. Now both the options are equally important for this sentence. Now this sentence is made up of two clauses. What are the clauses? You can order a pizza. You can order a burger. Both these clauses make complete sense and can stand on their own. So they are independent clauses. So either or is a conjunction which is joining two independent clauses which give us options. Both the options are important for this sentence. So correlative conjunctions are always used in pairs and are put in different places in a sentence to join two words, phrases or clauses of equal importance. So in a way, they function as coordinating conjunctions. In the earlier example, either or was used in pair either or usually used together. So they are correlative conjunctions. They were used in different places in the same sentence and they joined clauses of equal importance. So either or is a type of correlative conjunction. Let us see some more examples of correlative conjunctions. David neither attended the class nor appeared for the exam. Again, there are two alternatives here. What are they? Neither attended the class, nor appeared for the exam. So there are two negative alternatives. So this sentence is made up of these two clauses. David did not attend the class. He did not appear for the exam. So both these clauses, David did not attend the class, he did not appear for the exam, are independent clauses. Both these clauses are important for this sentence and both these clauses give us a negative option or negative choice. So we have used neither nor. Now neither nor is used in different places in the same sentence. So neither nor is a pair which is used in different places. So we can say this is a correlative conjunction. Not only is the place quiet, but it is also very well maintained. This sentence is made up of two clauses. What are they? The place is quiet. It is also very well maintained. Now both these clauses are independent clauses and both of them are equally important for this sentence. So when we have joined them with the conjunction not only but also we have used this conjunction in different places and usually not only but also is used to get the meaning out of the sentence. So we can say not only but also is a correlative conjunction. Now let us read this sentence. The trip was both adventurous and hectic. So adventurous, hectic are both 
equally important to describe the trip? So this sentence is made up of two clauses. The trip was adventurous. It was hectic. Now both these clauses are independent clauses and both of these are equally important to describe the trip. So both and is the conjunction that we have used here. We have put them in different places in the same sentence. So both and is a correlative conjunction. He could not remember whether he kept the key on the table or inside the drawer. So whether or are actually joining two options or alternatives. What are they? Kept the key on the table, inside the drawer. So both these options or alternatives are very, very important for this sentence. They are equally important. So whether or is a correlative conjunction used here? I would rather spend time with my family than hang out with friends. Rather than are showing two options. What are the two options? Spend time with my family. Hang out with friends. It is showing a preference over one option or alternative. So we have used rather than as a pair, we have put them in different places in the same sentence. Now both these options are important. Spend time with my family, hang out with friends. They are equally important for this sentence. So the conjunctions rather than are used together. But sometimes they can be written next to each other in the same sentence. Here we have written them separately. But sometimes we can write them next to each other. So we could have said, I would spend time with my family rather than hang out with friends. We could have also said, rather than hang out with friends, I would spend time with my family. The correlative conjunctions are either or, neither nor, whether or, not only but also, both and, rather than. These are the correlative conjunctions which we use together but we put them in separate places in the same sentence. In case of rather than, we can also write them next to each other in some sentences. So we have seen that correlative conjunctions are used in pairs. That means they are usually used together. They are put in separate places in the same sentence or sometimes as in the case of rather than, they are written next to each other to join two important or two equally important independent clauses. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors, to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates 
through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.